What we have here is a 42 inch Windsor and Brown Mercer collection. Or better known as a Heritage Spectre. White and Posh brass finish, three speed electrically reversible, integrated mushroom single light kit. Blades on the fan are white, reversible to bleached oak on the top. Right there is the heritage tag. It has a heritage tag up on the top, even though it's a Windsor and Brown brand fan. So yeah, like I said, this is a rebatched heritage Spectre. Now obviously everyone's known heritage for their excellent build quality. And this fan is definitely a prime example of that said build quality. <clears throat> so, yeah, this thing is quite a masterpiece, I'll just say that. Um, the canopy on the fan that you see is not original. This fan is like new condition. I do have the original box for it. This fan belonged to a buddy of mine, and he actually made a video of this thing. We put it up in his bedroom in his apartment. He had the washed oak or the bleached oak side showing down, so <clears throat> it's the, I'm not going to directly mention his name just for the privacy reasons. If he wants to make himself known on the video, you can go right ahead and do that. But I'll give you the hint that it's the It's Matt's Fan Store guy. If you go on his channel, you'll find the same fan in his apartment. And that has the original downer on a canopy on it. He kept it because we replaced it with the Encon Apollo that I have a video of on the channel over a year ago or so. The black and white one. That's what we put up in his bedroom. And the reason why we didn't swap out the hardware is because we drilled a hole in the side of the canopy because he had to run a swag kit for the fan because the apartment was not wired for an overhead light. So, yeah, instead of drilling a hole in another canopy, we just reused the mounting hardware from this fan. And there I was, so, yeah. Enough storytelling. Let's go ahead and jump right in and see what this turd does. To my knowledge, the Heritage Spectre was originally, was basically only available in white finish only. I believe the Windsor and Brown here version is... Only available in white and polished brass. I think that has a characteristic specific to Windsor and Brown, which Windsor and Brown is a Target House brand of the 90s and into the very early 2000s. This fan's bearings are dry, they make noise. We even had to give him quite a few, quite a long time to wear in, but that's why he replaced it because we figured the bearings were quiet in with use, but no, they actually got louder. So likely the grease inside the bearings are completely dried out. Here's medium. If I haven't mentioned before, this fan is from 1996. And that buzzing sound you hear is the globe. And high. Yeah, quite noisy. With it being flush mounted, airflow is okay. It's comparable to the Littleton. Doing around 180, 185 RPM if I were to guess. 
with a very shallow 10 degree if that blade pitch. Turn the light back on right quick. All right. So I do have the original box and I'll go ahead and show that to you now. And here we are. That shows the original mounting hardware for it there. I'm not sure what the original price on these would have been. But I'm sure probably 20 bucks, maybe. Might say it on here. See the price for it. Shows the bleach stoke side on the bottom, well, on the back side there. Target stores. Not that fun crap. Side profile. Nothing too much to see. Kind of got box tape covering a lot of it. Warranty card. And our lovely instruction manual. Breeze through this right quick. Front side is in English, the back side is in Spanish. that that quite a few pages surprisingly fairly detailed booklet Finally, the warranty. And all that stuff is in Spanish on the reverse side. Alright. So, there you go, folks. There was the 42 inch white and posh brass Windsor and Brown Mercer collection. Before I go, you probably noticed that the box didn't show the model name on it at all. But it is called the Mercer Collection because the same buddy of mine that this fan came from has another one of these new in the box. And it has the model name on it. I'm not sure why they changed that. But, yeah. So that's what we're going to call them. But, yeah, this is a rebatched Heritage Spectre. So, yeah, the best fan in the world. So we'll be seeing you next time. Thanks for watching. Stay cool. Take care. Peace.